What's going on everybody? Only Mike over here at the Game Creator and um, what we're going to be doing today was I was going to show you guys a little tutorial on a weapon system. Um, it's a weapon combat system, but instead of uh, instead of uh, doing the actual tutorial, I'm just going to run you guys through what I did and I'm going to upload this, okay? And um, on the quest forms itself, so that way you guys can download it and you can look over it yourselves. So you'll be able to edit it, um, use it however you want to. That's fine. I just know I see a lot of posts um, on Quest asking about weapon systems and combat systems and different things like that. And this is a pretty basic, easy one. Um, if you don't know how to use uh, like the libraries and stuff, um, but Pixie, the Pixie, he's got a good combat library. And if that's too advanced for you, or if you just want something that you know what you're doing, you know, I suggest something kind of like this, because that's what I did with mine. I just made my own little custom system, and it works out pretty nice and pretty simplistic and easy just to um, make a new weapon, copy a new weapon, or whatever. So, like, if I wanted to make another weapon, all you have to do is copy and then paste and then just come here and rename it. And we could rename it to, like, Shotgun. Okay, and then once you do that, you want to come over here, you want to come to your inventory tab and make sure you change these things to add to inventory. You want to add inventory shotgun and you want to remove this. And that's pretty much all you're going to do for um, picking it up. Now, the things that you will have to change is, okay, you're going to need different ammo, obviously for a shotgun so you would come to your ammo copy it paste let's go we're gonna do the same thing change it we're gonna name it shotgun ammo and I like to make these one words so when I do use them like I'm gonna copy in this right now so hold control C after you highlight it okay and that way it's lit up and then you just wanna come over to your inventory tab once again and we're gonna change um, from ammo to shotgun ammo and pretty much everything else should be the same besides this oops and I copied the wrong thing so I'm just gonna go in front and type shotgun shotgun there we go now I am going to copy this again though so if you double click on shotgun ammo you can copy it okay and then I'm going to go over to my shotgun and go to the reload function because this is the only thing you're going to have to change, okay? Is um, instead of ammo, we're looking for shotgun ammo. All right, and we're going to change these values, this uh, 15. I'll show you what this means here in a second. Um, ammo right here. You want to look for anywhere where it says ammo. And we're going to replace that ammo. Oh, you see this handgun here thing? We're going to have to replace this with this. I need to go back in my other handgun and actually fix that. Uh, like I said, anywhere it says ammo, you want to double click and then control shift to paste the shotgun ammo in there or just type it out. Either way, however you feel like doing it. Um, like I said, I'm just showing you guys this so that way when you get. Um, this package, this demo here, you guys can uh, know what you're doing with it, hopefully. And of course, any questions, just leave comments or email me or something like that. That's fine. Uh, equip, we don't have to do nothing to equip, okay? Because literally, we can copy as many weapons as we want to and paste them. And that's the only thing we're going to have to change is the reload. All right, that's pretty much it. And I think that is all gravy okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna change this rounds we're gonna change it to eight okay it's a shotgun so we'll make it a eight round shotgun now we want to go um, to attributes itself we're gonna do accuracy I'm gonna turn accuracy up to 60 and maximum rounds is going to be eight and I believe that should be it. So I'm going to go to my game. And instead of machine gun, 
ammo. I'm going to do some shotgun ammo. Um, shotgun ammo. And replace the machine gun with the shotgun. Shotgun ammo. There we go. And I'll show you guys the difference between both of the weapons. Um, so shotgun ammo. If we take it, we can look at it. It says we have 15 rounds left and now if we take it again now we have 28 rounds so what we're doing is we're pulling a random um, number if we have the ammo it's going to pull a random number now if you don't have the ammo on you um, what it's going to do is um, just pull a solid 15 okay and so yeah right now it's pulling a number and that number is way too big for shotgun ammo I didn't change that but we'll change that in just a second so let's go ahead and take the shotgun oops and right now if we clicked on the bad guy to attack you need a weapon to attack with so let's go to shotgun equip now see in our stats we say we got weapon object shotgun and our ammo is zero out of eight so let's try to attack you need to reload your weapon okay so let's reload so we reloaded shotgun now let's look at our shells now we only have 32 so up here it said we had 40 now we only have 32 and we have eight in our um, gun so when we use we missed we missed we missed wow accuracy is horrible and then hit and hit there we go and then so once we get down to three, if we look at our shotgun ammo again, we have 32 rounds. So it's going to take uh, five rounds to reload this. So we should end up with, what is that, uh, 27? Yeah, should end up with 27 rounds. So let's look at our shotgun ammo again. And there we go. And now it's reloaded. So that's a really easy way that you guys can make weapons. And then you just copy the weapon, paste it, and then all you got to do is change a couple things over. And then boom, new weapon. You know, set you a couple different variables and everything else. And um, so, like, let's take this handgun. So we can take this handgun and equip it. See how it unequips everything? And then... And now we got the handgun. And now we try to reload. And we don't have any ammo. So let's take ammo. Take ammo. Now we have 26 rounds for this. For our handgun ammo. So let's reload it. And now let's look. Now we only have 11 rounds left. But we got a full clip. So once we pick up this one. Now we have 20 rounds. Okay, so we have five more than a full mag. So that's pretty decent. We can attack this guy. Boom. And now we attacked him. We go back to our handgun. We need to reload. Now we got 15 of 15 again. So guys, yes, I'm going to be posting this up in the quest forms. I'll leave a link to where it will be. So, um... And also in the quest forms, I'm going to leave a link to this video. So anyone who wants to jump back and forth and see how everything is done, um, then you will be able to see that. And um, I want to show you guys the uh, object types I made right quick. Object type, ammo type. Okay, here's my uh, random round function. Um, so I set a variable, call it in, I take a random, a random number, and I just put this one as a base from 1 through 100, okay, and then when you get over to like your ammo, that's going to inherit it, okay, so you're going to come up here to inherited types, and you would type in ammo type, but it's already up there, so we don't need to do that. Um, but anyways, we got um, a random rounds right here. And we can see how it's setting it from 3 to 15. Okay. And then it adds it to our rounds of our gun. And, it, you know, we're using this. So that way, when you do copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste, you're not having to change 100,000 names. And if we didn't use this and if we used... Um, uh, ammo dot rounds, ammo dot rounds. Every time we'd have to machine gun ammo dot rounds, we'd have to type in all of that or copy paste, whatever. But using this is so much easier and it all works well. Um, on the look 
uh, look at feature. This is what I got for my function. It's a print expression. Uh, you have this dot rounds left or this dot rounds rounds left. So it's taking how many rounds that we got and it's just printing out that number. Okay, you want to make sure you do this correctly like that. So like I said guys, go through the whole thing and just check it out. Um, I didn't leave any uh, any descriptions and anything on how you use it or whatever. Uh, that's why I want to make this little video. So um, that way you guys can refer back to this and like I said if you have any questions just leave them below um, let's go to the bad guy right quick and I'll show you the attack script okay the attack script is universal for any weapon that you have because we're using uh, the object attribute weapon and it's pulling um, it's pulling all that attributes uh, um, all the weapons attributes that you have equipped so if you got the handgun equipped it's obviously you know reading this as handgun dot rounds it's not reading it as just player weapon you know it's reading it as the handgun rounds um, so yeah that's pretty cool and then of course we're doing the health um, for the enemy and we're calling the enemy's health this because we want to use clones okay so like over here in our game I'm gonna go to my game and you see how I'm using clone object clone object well every time you clone an object it's no longer shotgun ammo okay so or since we're talking about the bad guy it's no longer bad guy okay the first one that we make is bad guy one the second one that we make is bad guy two so we don't want to try to reference, you know, bad guy one, bad guy two, bad guy three, bad guy four, bad guy five, because it would be a never ending process. OK, and by using this, it works so much easier, but you can only use this in the object that you're calling. OK, so like shotgun, if I was to um, if I was to go over in the ammo and I was to call this trying to reference the shotgun it's not going to reference it okay it, it's it's gonna be like what are you talking about this you know this is what it's talking about so just remember if you're calling this um, as a function you know if you're this dot rounds if you're calling that you need to call it in the object you're referring to if not it will not work and you'll have errors and uh, errors and you'll be like WTF why is this doing this to me um, but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial like I said I'm gonna have this posted up and I hope you enjoy it and give a thumbs up if you like it and until next time later guys